I'm in Backup Exec 22, and I'm going to show you how to add a storage pool. A storage pool allows you to use multiple drives and put them into a single pool. So when one drive gets filled up, it will automatically flip over to the next available storage device. So you see I have one drive already, and I showed how to set this up in a previous video, but I'm going to add a second one here. So I'm going to click on Configure Storage because it is local, and I need to add a second or more disk-based storage. So I'll go ahead and choose Next, Next. I'll leave that as Disk Storage 02. Now it's choosing the next available drive that is has got the largest amount of space that's not the C drive. And I'm going to choose that, click Next, and I'll leave everything else the way it is and click Finish. So now I have two storage devices. So I can create my first storage pool. So I'm going to go back into where I just was and Configure Storage. And I'm going to go down to where it says Storage Pool. So I'll click Next storage device pool. I'll just leave the default name. Now it's going to be asking me what type of device pool. There's only one option. So I'll click next. Now I want to choose both disks. It is possible to have a single disk in a pool, but that's really not a pool if you only have, you know, one disk in there. And click finish. And now it's done. Now when I run my backup, I can choose a storage pool for my storage instead of an individual drive. And that will give me additional flexibility because it will allow me to, once I fill up one drive, it'll start working on the other. I'm also going to show you how to do a backup in my next video.